Hello, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with a new palette and um, thought I'd go ahead and get started. I used Super Goop uh, Glow Oil and this one um, is for my base SPF of 50. Always a good idea. And I went ahead and used ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Uh, this one is in the 30 Fair. I went ahead and mixed it with the Soul. This is the Face and Body Bronzer. I just use a little bit of this one and I add it into this and that way it makes the shade a little bit darker and work for me right now because um, well I probably should have picked a different shade but I wasn't paying attention and so that's how to correct a shade that doesn't work especially right now when you're darker because the you've been out in the sun and so some of your foundations are too light just add in um, a little bit of um, this bronzer the uh, um, but this one is soul this is the sister company of ColourPop and this is sold on the same web website so yeah there are all sorts of products around. Trunk Elephant just came out with more of their dew drops or whatever, which are for highlighting or darkening whatever foundation you have. So if you want to go high end, that's where you go. And uh, let's see, what else do I have on here? Oh, I actually got out. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to go ahead and try out this waterproof mascara and see if I curled up my lashes, if my lashes would stay up. And it's done, yeah. I mean, I don't really see a difference in it, but um, yeah, I thought it might make a really big difference. It didn't, but that's okay. Uh, the waterproof mascara I used is the Relove Revolution, and this is the Power Lash Waterproof. And let's see, as far as the rest of what I went ahead and did today, I did go ahead and use the Oma by Sharon C. And this was um, to go ahead and use the uh, their brow gel. And uh, let's see, what else did I use? Um, the Colorbot peeps here and let's see I went ahead and I had gotten a new here it is this is the so glassy by ColourPop so this is the glowing lips by ColourPop and this one is in lavender and let's see but I'm just about to the end of it here so that's what that one is and then I did go ahead and put the so glassy lip gloss on top of it so that's what I have on there. And as you all know, I just think ColourPop is pretty fantastic for most stuff. And let's see, what else did I do here? Okay, so I did go ahead and use the ColourPop Let's Dance blush here. And so this is the blush that I went ahead and put on. And then I used the Out of Quartz here. And this has been what I went ahead and used as a highlighter. And let's get on to the palette, which is the actual fun stuff. I have the ColourPop uh, For Love and Justice palette here. It is um, a pretty Guardians, and as usual, the packaging is adorable. And here's the um, palette itself. And there was, this is the second palette that they've done. Um, they had, their original one came out like two years ago, and it was mainly uh, warm tones and everything. And so this one has a lot more cool colors to it. Um, it's very youthful, or at least it reminds me of the 1980s makeup, where everybody was doing pink and purple and blue and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but it also reminds me of a very youthful palette, you know, for um, teenagers who are just sort of getting into makeup as well. So, um, yeah, this is the way that the palette looks, and it's what I have on my eyes today. Um, I did go ahead and start off with this color in the crease, and then I went ahead and used this one on the inner corner. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I put some of this on the outer corner. I put this one on the lid. I also put, oh, let's see, this on the outer corner as well. 
and I did use a ColourPop gel eyeliner as far as the eyeliner on this um, and I'm trying to think if I did anything else oh the topper shade this silver that's right next to it is a gorgeous topper shade and I have to tell you that as far as topper shades I never really did get into them other than you know to put them right in the center of the eye to get a little bit of pop but I never really put them all over everywhere and uh, yeah this whole move toward doing topper shades now I'm really enjoying having just a little bit of glitter all over my eyes and this is how it turned out and so um, it's a cute little palette if you uh, have a, a teenager it just or somebody who really loves color yeah um, but again it just seems really really youthful and it's a fun cool color story so oh this is what I forgot I put a little bit of this like right above right under the brow bone there okay, and I have some swatches for you and so this is the whole palette swatched let's see if we can get this on yeah so this is the palette swatched right here and um, again very colorful very fun definitely for you know those uh, it just there are a couple of topper shades or a couple of duochromes and one glitter in here I think that for a color lover it's great and that it's pretty versatile so that you can go ahead and match it to a lot of moods and a lot of outfits so yeah it's a really pretty palette and uh, definitely another suggestion of one to go ahead and pick up I do go ahead and use the Beauty Pie Triple Beauty Perfect Glowy Powder on top as my finishing powder this is it it is very glowy and it gives the whole thing just sort of a glow to it 